Now that winter appears to be somewhat behind us, we can start thinking about spring and spring flowers. How about flowering vines? And the clematis is one of them, and it's a beautiful shade of cobalt blue. And it has eight petals, but you don't have to show all of them. And it's our famous stroke of no pressure, press down, and then releasing into the center. You want to be sure that every petal comes back into the center. So if we have a petal that's at the bottom, you want to be sure that it comes back into that center. And if it's not full enough, then just do one right alongside of it, like so. All right, so there we have two. Let's get another one in here. Three. Four. Pushing outward with the heel of the brush. And it's nice to get that gradation of tone. We love that. And let's work in some more here. Okay. Five. Are you counting? <laughs> Six. And I just need two more. Seven. Let's have one here. And that's going to fill in nicely. If it doesn't, you can always come in with a clear brush and blend it together. All right, now let's have one or two other flowers where the petals have tended downwards. It's been open for a while and let's just see what that might look like. So. And then that, and we'll just let these dance around. So, and then one up here. You see my nice water base showing up. And for time to time, I would suggest that you rinse your brush completely and start over because the tone in your brush will work its way up to the heel of the brush and then you'll get a solid tone. And I think you'll be happier if you get that nice water base. So let's see what's on my brush now. Okay, that's going to work. So maybe have that just coming up there, and maybe a petal there. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to wind up with more than I had anticipated. I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, stop. All right. So far, so far. And I'm going to pick up some sap green. And remember, it's a vine, so it's probably best to use a detail brush. Always get your brush nice and white when you start. And then I'm going into the sap green. And let's see where I can get the most movement going on here. But on the end of that. So, if you watched 
Many of my videos, you know I love to do tendrils. It's sort of I can help myself. So let's get some tendrils going on. Okay. Now you're saying, what about the leaves? She forgot the leaves. Well, okay, let's get some of these going on. Again, I'm just using sap green and thinking, but wait, you forgot the most important part, and I didn't forget, I'm just waiting for my flowers to dry down. Hmm. Night is the most important part, because we need to do all the stamen, and there are quite a few. And I suggest that you use opaque white, and a lot of it, mixed in with your creamy, creamy, creamy yellow. Okay. And see how this just really pulls it all together. And then these will have them coming upwards, but they're going to be hard to see, so maybe I can pick up a little bit of stronger yellow. Let's see if I can get some more visibility. Remember, we have a lot of these, so don't be afraid that you're overdoing it. And if you notice that your white has disappeared, that creamy white with yellow, then just come in and reinforce it. Yeah. Okay, now. You might want to vein your leaves, and that's always a nice touch. So you'll want to use a deeper tone, so maybe a perline green, which is a green with a lot of, um, it looks like almost has black in it, but um, it certainly doesn't have yellow. So you might want to vein with a deeper tone, just to add a little bit more excitement. And remember, you don't have to stay within the shape you created. It's going to be more fun to go outside of the borders. Like so. Okay. Now, if you would like, you could also do some outline on your flower. Um, I don't know if I would do that, but um, if you want to see it, I can go ahead and do it. What do you think? Just go for it. Okay, so maybe we'll just take our blue and just see what happens when we do this. Kind of makes it more interesting. And it's certainly a lot of fun. Makes it pop. And you want to do these very rapidly, so just don't be too serious about it. Okay. But whatever you decide to do, remember this is your painting, and the whole idea is to relax, have fun, and there's always more paper and the next painting, which is what I always remind myself. Okay.